stop. Welcome back to Clearview Driving. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Ammon and today I am doing a mock test with Warren. How are you feeling? A bit nervous. But a bit nervous. Yeah. When is your test? It is next week, Tuesday. Okay, don't need to yeah. go into detail, but yeah, yeah. you know, soon. Yeah, soon, yeah. Okay, um, and you have done a mock test before? Yeah. How's that gone previously? It's been alright. I uh, failed one but passed another one, so... That's alright. Yeah. Brilliant, okay. Um, do you know how today's lesson will go? As in mock test will go? Yeah, but hey. you can explain it. Okay, so just keep going straight. All right, whenever I need you to turn, I will tell you in plenty of time. Yeah. Um, I'm going to get you to do a bit of independent driving and follow some signs and um, one manoeuvre, possibly the emergency stop, similar to everything you've already been doing with your instructor. Okay. How many hours of lessons would you say you've done in total? Like a rough number? 28. Okay, right from... Yeah. Beginner? From beginner, yeah. Have you been practicing with family outside of no. that at all? Okay, all right, all with your instructor then. Yep. All right, brilliant. Okay, so we're going to get started. If you're new to watching these videos, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe, and select that bell icon. And um, I'm ready whenever you're ready. So when you're ready, we can start the engine. Okay, and I'll always tell you whenever I need you to turn, okay? Yep. Ready? Yep. Drive off on a view, ready? As there are parked vehicles on both sides of the road and the road is now no longer wide enough for two cars to fit through the middle, we should have positioned the car in the centre of the road. Varun's positioned very far to the right, so he should have tried to position the centre of the road on his left shoulder in order to get the car centred. If you can take the next road on your right please. Are we allowed to go in? Pardon? Are we allowed to go through here? Yeah. Okay. If you just go really slowly, you can get through this. Just take your time with it, okay? Yeah. Come on, left. 
come all left, you've got tons of space on my side. Mm -hmm. That was skillful. He managed to reverse all the way through here. and park up on the left hand side of the road. Don't worry about the driveways on this occasion. So just on the road, not on the pavement, okay? Yep. That's great there, thank you, Brian. Drive up when you're ready. and turn left. And then left again at the traffic lights. Yeah. Take the next available road on the right, please. As the road we're turning into is a one-way road, Varun did not need to turn on the left-hand side of this road. He could have turned on the right-hand side. Push it away so that it doesn't block your view, and you can still. Yeah. yeah? Okay, Varun, if you can pull in and park up on the left hand side of the road, please. It's a nice space right here. Thank you. Alright, so shortly I'm going to get you to carry out the emergency stop. As you're yep. driving down this road, I'm going to make sure it's nice and safe. I'm going to look around and then give you this signal. Stop! Mm -hmm. I'd like you to stop the car as quickly and as safely as possible, but wait for my signal before you stop the car. Yep. Okay? Drive off when you're ready.
So just drive normally, okay? Stop! Stop! It's really important not to keep any loose articles in your vehicle like this. Now in this case, when we did this emergency stop, the water bottle fell on the accelerator that Vern had already stopped. This could potentially scare any pedestrians if there's anyone around the vehicle when we do this stop. It's also very dangerous if something like this gets stuck underneath the brake pedal because we would no longer be able to stop. Thank you. If you just put that in the side of the door. No. Yeah. Thank you. Drive off when you're ready. We've got a really good learning point ahead of us on the right hand side of the road. There are some pedestrians that approach to cross this junction. A vehicle also approaches to turn in at the same time. That blue car should have indeed waited for the pedestrians as they were not looking and they were about to step into the road. Ahead of us we've got a lorry parked up on the left hand side, Varun does check his mirrors and make sure the road ahead is clear, but it's a good idea to indicate that you're going around the lorry at this point. So we're shortly going to be making a right turn into a car park. Yep. So if we just turn right in here, and as soon as you've turned right, we're going to turn left, okay? forward a bit more. Through? Yeah, yeah, just keep driving through. Alright, so we're in a car park now. What I'd like you to do is to forward park into a space of your choice. Make sure you finish within the white lines of the parking bay. So if you just keep it fairly slow, just kind of drive up alongside, just keep drive up forward a bit. Yeah, just keep driving forward a bit and then forward park into any one of these on the right, please. Okay.
Check. Yeah. Fucking break on? No, it's not. Push it to turn it on. Oh. It's on now. Alright, this time then, thank you. And um, we're just going to reverse over to the left and head out the car park. Yeah. When you get a chance, just turn up, just close that back window, please. Alright, so we're going to reverse over this way so that we can head out the car park. Okay, at the end of this road, turn right, please. Let's turn left, please. Follow signs towards Heathrow. Row signposted as the second exit straight ahead. As we get closer to the roundabout, there are three lanes and we need to be in the middle lane to continue ahead. Boren does go into the middle lane, but as soon as we enter the roundabout, he straight lines the roundabout, going into the right hand lane and then exits out on the left. But in this case, there are no road markings, so this wasn't a serious fault, but he should have tried to keep a better position. If somebody had been on the right, this would have definitely given him a serious fault right there.
towards Hillington from here, okay? Hillington left here, yeah. the end of your independent drive I'm going to give you directions to North from now on. Yeah. Okay, we've got two roundabouts really close together. We're going to go straight from both of them. Now to go straight ahead on both roundabouts we have to start off in the left hand lane and as we get closer the left hand lane divides into two and we need to be in the middle. Varun does start in the middle lane, but as soon as he enters the roundabout, he straight lines the roundabout and switches into the right hand lane. He gets a serious fault for this. We're now approaching a compulsory left turn at the traffic lights ahead. Varun does approach this a bit too fast and as soon as we're in the new road he's still accelerating. Thank you, and drive off when you're ready. At the end of this road, turn right please. How was your test? Could have gone better. Okay, are there any concerns that you've had? Would you say it's a pass or fail? Fail. No. Okay, why? Bay Park. It's horrendous. <laughs> that was, yeah. It was alright. I left the park, the handbrake, I didn't, didn't yeah, put it on. it rolled back, so yeah. control wear, but not major. Car park was empty, you, you realised you controlled yeah. it. Okay, so... Roundabout. Unfortunately, it wouldn't be a pass. Yeah. Okay. Um, there is one major issue, which was your roundabout. Yeah. Did you realise what you did on that straight, double roundabout? Straight line. Straight line. Yeah. When did you realise that you kind of messed up? When I saw the arrow pointing. Yes. The other way. Yeah, when you okay. realised you had to switch over lanes, because yeah. when you approach that roundabout, you're in the left lane, then you realise you have to be in the middle, and you were. But as soon as you entered, you've crossed over into the right. Yeah. And then you've had to now switch back. I need to stay, like, yeah, you need. As soon as you yeah. entered from that point, you needed to go round like that, yeah. and then that was your lane. 
Yeah. Thankfully, nobody was around us at the time, mm -hmm. but you weren't aware that you did that until yeah, you got to the other to side. End, yeah. yeah? Um, besides that, this, there's another one and I'm, it's more of a safety one, that one. Do you remember the emergency stop? Yeah. Okay. You stopped, right? But what happened to that water bottle? Where did you have it initially? It was there. It was there? Yeah. But when you stopped, it came it flying out, yeah. out forward. And where did it land? On the accelerator. <laughs> yeah. Worst, worst place for it to position, right? Yeah. Okay, so you've got to make sure that you do not have any loose articles in your okay. car like that. Yeah. Because that was dangerous, the way it kind of went onto the accelerator. And I know you had your foot on the brake anyways, yeah. but if someone was in front of you, it goes on the accelerator, you're going to hear the revs go up. They'll, they'll yeah. be scared. Yeah, you're yeah. going to hit into them anyways. That shouldn't have happened. Okay. Anything goes underneath your brake. Imagine that had come out earlier and gone into you underneath your brake. Yeah, yeah. You can't even apply yeah, the brake now. Because yeah. there's nothing on my side. It was a yeah, water bottle yeah. you brought into the car yourself. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that. Generally, you know what you're doing. Okay, you drive yeah. nicely. Your road position, let's talk about it. You like to drive very close to the right. Yeah. And I know it's because you can judge the right hand side better, but there were times where the left hand side had over a meter of space. Do you remember that road right at the beginning and you said, oh, are we allowed to drive down this yeah, road? Yeah. yeah, of course. There were no signs restricting yeah. us, right? Um, when we're going past that large truck, you're going through it nicely. I said, oh, take your time with it. Take it slow. Your, your initial entry in was, was good. But as we're getting to the end of it, you're leaning more and more to the right. And I know you've got better judgment on the right than I have because I'm sitting on the left. Yeah. But on my side, I had so much space. And I thought to myself, just keep it centered and drive. Even when we started your position in the, in the road, when we first started on Waterloo Road, you were in in the middle of the road, but more to, to the right. right. Yeah. I felt like I was over the center line, which meant you're that far more that way than you need to be okay so watch your road positioning a little bit um besides that this is more kind of take notion of this as you're driving you tend to change gears quite quick yeah but you're so slow okay do you remember that 40 miles per hour road where you went into fifth gear yeah what speed were you at when you went into fifth gear uh 37 30 30 30 <laughs> I think because I'm used to a petrol car, I think it, gets, it changed gears a bit quicker. Okay, Actually, fine, yeah. but you could feel it was lagging. Yeah, 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 yeah? yeah, yeah. There were points where even when we moved out of this road and we had that black car guy behind us, yeah. you turned <clears> out of the road and he turned in behind you. He kind of followed you in. Yeah. But as soon as you're on the new road, he went around, overtook, and then come right back in front of us. Now, why do you think he decided to overtake you? I was too slow. Because you're too slow. Yeah. Just there's tons of space. The junction's clear. Take it. Speed up a bit. Lots of space. Go into second gear, but don't change gear too early. Speed up and then change gear. Okay. So yeah, that might be because you've been driving petrol, but yeah, I was watching your feet a little bit. When you're moving off, you're not accelerating. You're kind of relying on yeah, the clutch. Yeah. And you do that in a new petrol car, it's gonna switch off. Mm -hmm. Now, sadly, the camera died at this point, but thank you all so much for watching the videos. Don't forget to like the video, comment down below, subscribe if you're new, and good luck to Varun on this driving test, and let us know how it goes. Thank you all, and see you next time. Bye!